a lot of the work that I'm doing in the space here is about summoning something. I would like to be able to create something which is kind of dark and uncomfortable, but also something that people will perhaps feel moved by. It's been great to have Zueka's support in this kind of irrationality. When I first arrived here, I was just blown away by the space, by the location of where we are. It feels like a little village in the middle of Venice. It feels like a very productive place to make work. Everyone raise your hands in the air as high as you can, please. I create like performances okay, that I can then use much. images to make other paintings from. something where I don't know what the outcome is going to be. Like, for example, a seance, making a very superstitious bunch of people do something which is kind of horrible and a bit scary. And then the outcome of that was completely unexpected. At the beginning of the residency, I was working on two very large paintings, uh, one of which was a painting of the seance, and the other one was a picture of me emerging out of these stars. And I was painting it, and there was a kind of need to destroy this image. There was a sort of pathological hatred of, of these stars. The day that I destroyed it, the night before, I'd been bitten all over by mosquitoes. And I was like, I want to paint a picture of myself as a mosquito, sucking the blood out of Venice. The more I've explored Venice, and the more I've explored the churches, the theatres, there's a, just a, an amazing amount of history here that you could literally choose anything and you could make work about it. And I've been extraordinarily grateful to Zueka Projects for having me here at the residency. It's been an overwhelmingly positive experience. To be in a kind of transparent situation, which the nature of the residency is. So I'm being in constant dialogue with visitors to the space, with people at Sereka Projects. I think a big part of this has been conversation. I think it's really shaped the work. I don't think my work will be the same after this. I will be doing a final sort of performance with a group of students uh, from the curatorial school. It's kind of like playtime for artists, basically, but a really good way of making images that are compelling, um, that have come out of nowhere, and that kind of celebrate the end of this uh, experience. I want it to be at, like an overwhelmingly positive thing, like a kid's birthday party, after quite a period of sort of reflective like darkness. I'll be taking a lot of this place with me and a lot of this experience for a long time to come into the far distant future when the stars have all burnt out and um, we'll all be dead.